Good morning. I'm Pastor Marianne Kellenbach. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Friday, July the 10th. Oh my gosh, July's flying by, as I said yesterday. Um, what a wonderful day it is. Oh, in the year 2020, just in case you're wondering what year it is. I am Pastor Marianne, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I hope that your day has been starting out or continuing on a blessed journey and that you're seeing the goodness of Christ, the goodness of our Creator, the goodness of the Holy Spirit everywhere that you're going. Today we're going to talk, uh, um, pull some scripture from Matthew. We talked a little bit earlier this week um, about how Matthew has of all the Gospels, probably has the most reference to good. And I think that that um, stems from Matthew really talking to um, primarily his audience that he was writing to was Jewish. And so I think that tov, that good, um, and that goodness that we heard of a, a good God who created uh, and deemed creation to be good. Uh, so I um, want to... Pull some scripture from Matthew, um, which actually in this uh, liturgical um, lectionary based year, we are so liturgical is just a fancy way of saying church, churchish, churchish language, liturgical being the, the format of the worship um, service. So um, in our liturgy or the format of our uh, worship, uh, we are um, in the lectionary year. <laughs> of uh, Matthew, which is year A. Lectionary just means that there's a preset um, list of readings uh, that is a three-year cycle so that we cover Matthew, Mark, and Luke, all three Gospels, what we call the Synoptic Gospels, to be taken together, and John being sprinkled in there because John is um, a very unique Gospel. Um, so we are in year A, or what's called the first year of the three-year rotation, and we are focused on the um, Gospel of Matthew this year. So um, Matthew, which is perfect for what we're studying, fruit of the Spirit, goodness. So here we hear from Matthew, chapter 7, Jesus is speaking to the disciples. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly or ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? Of course, we know the answer to that is no. In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A tree cannot bear bad fruit. I'm sorry, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. I want you to close your eyes right now. I want you to imagine either from when you were a child or where you live now or some special vacation maybe that you were on or somewhere maybe at your grandparents' house or on aunts and uncles that you see this tree. And it is a fruit tree. It could be any type of a fruit tree. It could be a cherry tree, an orange tree, a mango tree. And that what you see on this tree is just an abundance a fruit, lavish, bountiful, more than you could possibly eat. I want you to see that. When we are generous and good to each other, that's what we produce. That fruit, goodness, generosity, that others can see, can taste, can take nourishment from. Do you see that fruit? When the soil in our hearts is good soil and the roots grow deep, that is the type of fruit that we will be producing each and every 
one of us. And let's say it's an apple tree. And in that apple, there is a dozen seeds. Think about that. That will then become, each one of them, a tree in and of itself that will produce abundant good fruit. We have a God who's benevolent, who's good, who creates good, who deems us good, who rescues us, brings us back into relationship, that only through this God are we capable of producing good fruit. Be good fruit. Be the tree that produces the good fruit so that all will see whose you are. On this day, when you see a fruit tree, if you see a fruit tree, or any type of a tree that's producing lots of flowers, an abundance of flowers, remember that comes from our Lord and see yourself as that tree producing those flowers or that fruit. Be that tree today. Amen.